Okay, here we go. Hi, this is Sharon DeCone and I'm with Positively Provost and uh, I also own It's Time Promotions. So today we're reaching out to Cynthia Weinkoff. She's a kindergarten teacher at the Macklin School. Cynthia, I think is remarkable and she's on our superhero category list. <laughs> Cynthia has found a way of reaching out to her students and I think it's really remarkable. In fact, I've listened to your readings in my pajamas a couple times, Cynthia. So. <laughs> Um, I've heard that from a lot of adults, actually. <laughs> it's awesome. And actually, I learned a couple things. I'm not going to tell you what they are because it's kind of embarrassing and I should know those. Um, so, Cynthia, can you just explain to everybody your class and what you've been doing and all that kind of stuff? Can you take over from here? Okay. Um, so, as, Karen, uh, as Sharon said, I teach kindergarten in Macklin. Um, and as you know, um, Saskatchewan schools received the notification on Monday morning, um, March 16th, that we would be closing. Um, I have two classes of kindergarten, so I had one group that day, and I would have had another group the next day. And at the time, our chicks were hatching in the classroom. So I panicked because I was very worried that some of my babies were not going to get to see the babies hatch. Right. So I just decided quickly that I was going to send out an email to the parents of the other class that I was going to go live using my phone on the incubator. And I did that Monday morning and I did it again Tuesday morning. And lots of people were tuning in. Lots of people that actually weren't even in kindergarten were tuning in and watching these chicks hatch. <laughs> um, and then I just got, uh, I got worried about my babies because um, some of my babies got picked up right away as was the government um, recommendation. Come and get, if you can get your children, come and get your children. And I'm sorry for interrupting. That came out about 1030 in the morning, didn't it? Yeah. So yeah. by noon, by noon, my class of 16 was down to eight. And then it was, it was hard because my five and six year olds didn't understand what was going on. And I tried to keep it very calm in the classroom and, and the moms and dads that did come, they just, we just took them home. But there were lots of kids in our, in our school crying and very upset. And it was, a, it was an upsetting day for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. um, and not just in your class, hey, like all the classes I've heard, like some of them were so scared, I heard, like it's scary. Yeah, yeah. And, and um, it was fortunate for Alberta that they made the announcement Sunday night and their kids were at home with their parents and able to have that discussion with their parents and just not go. Um, obviously, I mean, I'm not in the government. I don't have to make those decisions. So it was, it was just a hard day. And it was a hard day, I'm sure, Sunday night at home with the Alberta kids. I'm, I'm not saying it wasn't, but it was just a hard day. And um, I'm a huge fan of Dr. Jody Carrington, and she always talks about walking each other home and, and um, how we have to stay connected. And I really believe that. I've been teaching for 25 years. <laughs> and um, it's always been my goal to call kids by name and, and um, to know something about them. And I try really hard to do that. And so uh, I wanted a way to reach out to my kids. And I just decided that I could do that through story. Story time at school is the time when I'm on the carpet with them and they're gathered as close to me as they can be. And, we, and we're learning through reading. And I, I just decided I would go live and, and read stories every day. And if they tuned in, great. And if they didn't tune in, that's, it's completely fine. It's not a, it wasn't a required um, school skill because we are on educational pause right now. Right. Um, but it was just a way I could connect with them and it's been amazing. It's been good for me and I hope it's been good for the kids. Um, it's funny cause my best friend is like, you're too serious and, uh, you've got to smile more when you start and you look funny when you're trying to find the book. And I am, I'm not a <laughs> but, and it's, it's confusing, but I, I love it. And I've had lots of amazing, uh, comments from kids and I've had kids come by and I've gone out on the, on the step to say hi. And I'm just trying to stay connected with my babes because we're missing so much. Mm -hmm. We're staying safe and that's important. I, I'm very, I very truly believe it is important that we stay home and stay safe, but I miss them. Mm -hmm. That is a and, nice way to connect. Can you, I just have to point out that again, another reason why I think you're a superhero is the fact that you're so uncomfortable doing that whole Facebook live. Yeah, I'm never sure where the book is. <laughs> I just haven't got it down pat yet. But maybe uh, <laughs> when I left the school, the other thing is my, my children at home are so old, I don't have storybooks at home anymore. Oh, yes. So I counted out 30 books the day I left. We were told to bring as much home as we thought we would need to teach until at least after Easter. Mm -hmm. So I, 
I counted out 30 books and I thought, okay, well, I've got enough for a month and I'll, so, um, but I, you know, we were, um, we were told Thursday morning, we had a staff meeting and then we were told as quickly as you can leave the building Oh wow! for safety. So yeah. I grabbed off the shelf as quickly as I could, but, um, as soon as I'm left back in, I'm going to do a better job of pulling some more books. I don't know. I, I also do it. Um, my niece Scarlett is in kindergarten too, and she lives in Cincinnati. So it's a way for me to connect with, with my, my niece and my nephew, Eli. Um, he's in grade three, but he still likes to, uh, hear the stories too, I think. Yeah. So. I'm 51 and I like to hear them. Oh, well, my, and my aunt Carol is 71 and she likes to listen to them too. Yeah. So I think it's very, very cool. And then you're also saying Cynthia that, so you've got your readings, you've got kids at home to help with school, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, my son is in grade seven and my daughter's in grade nine. And I also have, um, my eldest daughter is in her first year of teaching this year. She's teaching grade three. So supporting her as well, because not, it's her first year and now it's her for now she's teaching through a global pandemic. So, right. And a husband in the oil field. So, right. Yeah. Awesome. Also, I noticed after your readings too, Cynthia, I think it's kind of cool. You get them to do something after like draw you a picture or something. Is that correct? You have them? Yeah, I, I, I have done that a couple of times and I, I, it's awesome. I love it when their parents are able to send me the picture. Um, I've had a couple of kids drop them off on the step. Aww. so very yeah. cool very cool so Cynthia again I, I say I'm, I'm very very I just hope that maybe somebody else can learn from this like I think again you're out of your comfort zone but you're doing what needs to be done just to connect and I think that's brilliant and I think that's very heartful of you um do you have any words of wisdom that you can share with anybody else out there that's going through this I I think the most important thing for parents to know is that just hold space for your babies it's okay. We've got them when we get back into the building. Help them feel safe and loved and do what you can. Don't feel like you have to be a teacher now because you're not a teacher and that's okay. You're their mom and dad and they need to feel safe and loved right now and the learning will come. We're all in this together. I see um, a, lot of, a lot of stress about that. Hey, I, I, on social media again, parents are really having a hard time with that for sure. Yeah. I'm having a hard time with that. Yeah. Grade, grade nine math is not my forte, but we'll get, we'll get through it together. Right. Yeah. So that's awesome, Cynthia. Um, I'm going to link, is it okay? I'm going to put your, can I tag you in this post just so people can see your videos? Is that okay with you? Sure. Yeah, yeah that's fine. That's what they're there for. I'm hoping that they reach as many littles as they can. Okay. That's perfect. And I really think that that's a genius idea that you're doing, Cynthia, and we appreciate you. I'm sure your students appreciate you. Thanks so much. Okay, we're going to sign off now, Cynthia. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.